بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسول الكريم أما بعد. So now moving on to the first sentence. Now the first sentence is two lines together. Obviously remember the story book, so they have it like laid out for children, so like big big words and small small sentences. But sometimes you have two sentences spread over two lines. What? Well, sorry, one sentence spread over two lines. So keep that in mind. Okay. I'll, I'll, so we go through inshallah. So, so the vo vocabulary here is what you go through the vocabulary. So qabla means what? Before. And qabla is what? What kind of word is qabla? You done it in nahu already. It's what? It's a zarf. It's an adverb. It shows what? It's an adverb which we call what? Zarf. It usually comes as a maf'ul fi, a zarf, or it comes as a khabar. Yawm, jama'a, ayyam is what? Day. Yawm, so you have yawmul jumu'ati, a day of Friday. Okay? Kathura yakthuru kathratan is from Bab karuma means what? To be abandoned. And when you make the sifatun mushabbahatun bismil fa'il, what part does it come on? What's the common part of bismil fa'il? A sifatun mushabbaha? Fa'il. So the fa'il of this becomes what? Becomes what? Kathir. And so to be abundant, that will become now what? The kathir become, would mean what? Abundant. Okay? Qariyatun. So it's qar. Yatun is a village. And the plural is quran. Okay? Yeah? So qabl, yawm, kathura, qariya. Rajulun means what? Man. And the plural of rajul is what? Dijal. Right. And shahara, you have the word fataha yaftahu. Shahara yashharu shahran or shuhratan. So shahara yashharu shahran means to draw a sword. You got, you got a sword in your, what's it called? Skabath. The gimd. Sheath, sorry, not skabath. Sheath. So you have a sword in your sheath. It's called a gimd in Arabic. When you pull it out, you say, shahara arrajulu as sayif. A sayif means sword. So a man pull out his sword. And if a shahara yashharu shuhratan, to spread news. So ism maf'ul is what? Partner is what it come on? Mashhurun. So basically mashhurun means if you, if you pull a sword out or you spread news, what does it become? Famous. So mashhur, so made from this word, mashhurun means what? You get how it's made? So you pull a sword out, you make it public, innit? You had a sword hidden, you pull it out. So you made your, you made your sword mashhur. Or you have news and you spread it, it becomes mashhur. And in, in English, you say what? Translation of mashhur is what? Famous. Jiddan. It's always, this is a word that we'll discuss uh, more as we go along. But Jiddan, remember, it's always Mansub. It's always what? Always Mansub. What does it mean? It emphasizes very. Okay? And we're not going to keep of this because it's going to be too complicated at this level. Maybe sometime later, on the f maybe second, third part, we'll do it. But for now, we're not going to do it. But this means, it's always Mansub and it means what? Very. So, Asanamu Mashur. What's Asanamu Mashur mean? Famous idol. Mm, the famous idol? Is it what kind of, is it Mawsusifa or Mawsusifa? An idol, you got Liflam? The idol. The idol. The idol, so this is the Mubtana, the idol. And then you say here, famous. And what kind of structure is it? As Sanamu Mashurun. Mubtana Khabar. So then what? The idol is famous. Now, what did Jit at the end? What does it mean? So the translation is what? Ar Rajulu Mashurun Jiddan. The man is famous, Jiddan, the man is very famous. Al Qariyatu Mashhuratun Jiddan. The village is very famous, a Mashhuratun to match with Al Qariya. You got it? So by adding Jiddan at the end, what happens? You make, get the meaning of very. You following so far? Okay, so here we got our first text. Qabla means? So before. Ayyam means? Not a day. This is days because it's, it's plural. So Yawmun is one day and Ayyam is days. And a Kathir means? Kathir? Abundant, uh, abundant or? Abundant, a lot, what else? Many. Same thing for Kathir. And Jiddan means? Very. Now let's do the structure. We know what the words mean. What's the structure? How does Arabs? So Qab? Qabla. Why do you pay Qabla for? It's correct. Why do you pay Qabla for? Because you did zarf. And, it, and this zarf is always what? It always becomes? No. It's mansub. But what the word after it always becomes what? Mudaf ilayh. So Qabla ayya. Mean. Why mean? Why tan mean? I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm asking you why. No, Alif Lam. You're right. I'm just asking you why. You changed your thing. You're not, you're not sure. Qabla ayya. Mean. Now what's kathira going to become of ayyam? Mawsuf Sifa. And why is this Mu'annas and that's Muzakkar? 
But this is muzakkar. Jama mukassa is one rule. The rule is if you have a non human and it's made plural, then you make it, you treat it as wahid mu'annas. So we've done before that the na'at and the man'ut and na'at, which we call mausuf sifa as well, it must match in ding. Definite, indefinite, arab number and gender. But if you have a word like ayyam, ayyam is really what? Yawmun. When, is, is that a human being? When you make it plural, now it's treated in grammar, in Arabic grammar, as wahid mu'annas, as singular feminine. That's why the plural of this is what? The sifa is what? Not kathiruna, but what? Kathira tun. So qabla ayyamin kathira wahitin. It's, it's a mausuf, it's sifa has to match. So far so good? Right. And jiddan is going to be what? Always mansub. We'll do that. We don't do that rule at the moment. We'll do it later on, inshallah. If somebody's interested, look up the ulaikahumul mu'minun haqqa. And there you find it. But we're not going to discuss it at this level. Oh. Kathira thin. So what do you think? So what do you think? Is emphasis. Emphasis is very good. Okay. This is called in Arabic emphasis. You, re you can repeat a word to create emphasis. And in Arabic you can call it tawkid or ta'kid. Both words are permissible. You can say tawkid from wakkada you wakkidu tawkidan. Or you can say akkada you akkidu ta'kidan. One is mithal and one is mahmuz. And this means emphasis. Okay. So you can repeat one word to create emphasis. What's the tarkib of an emphasis word? You call the first word mu'akkad. We call it mu'akkad. The thing that is being emphasized. So, akkada yu akkidu ta'kid and ukkida yu akkidu ta'kid and akkid la tu akkid. It means fa'i is a mu'akkid. And the thing that being emphasized is called like maf'ul is a mu'akkad. So you have kathira that is being emphasized. So you call that mu'akkad. And you call it kathira, the ta'kid, because that's emphasizing kathira again. That's called ta'kid or ta'kid. And then these two become a phrase, another phrase. So we did a few phrases before. Mausu sifa, mudah, mudah, filayt. Another phrase is what? The mu'akkad and ta'kid. You following? You understand? So by repeating a word, what can you do? You can create an emphasis. Okay. Now how do you translate this? A lot of days ago. A lot of days. Why not say many, many days? So you saying here, you saying kathira, a lot. Okay, what else? Mm. A long time ago. A long time ago. Many, many days ago. Many, many days ago. Right. So this is what happens now. This is how we do it. So qabla is a mudaf. And then ayyamin kathiratin kathiratin. Jiddan. I said, I'm not going to do Jiddan Tarkib because that's going to cause a bit of confusion. But this remember it's always mansub and it creates emphasis of very. Now, and then what qabla is mudaf and rest becomes mudaf ilay. And the mudaf ilay is made up of what? Mausuf. It's ayyamin. And then how is it described? By kathiratin and then double kathirat. So mawakat ta'ki become the sifa. You find it? Or another word for mausuf sifa is what? Better word is what? Manut and na. Inshallah, this, I'll explain to you another time why it's better to use manut na as opposed to mausuf sifa. Another time, inshallah. Okay? And how do I translate it? I translate it as what? A very, very long time. And I said, ago. Because if you said before many, many, before very many, many days, it's not really very. You, you, you're, doing, you, you're, tra you're translating words, but it's not just about getting a dictionary and translating words, it's about understanding how you translate this best into the target language. But again, don't add in your own stuff, don't make up stuff, understand. So even though I've changed it around, every word has its equivalent. Do you understand? So, A is why, is, and why, why do you use A? Because? Ayyam in the So A, and because we have kathira for emphasis, and jinn also means very, but very, very. And kathira means many, but you don't say in, 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 you don't say many. You say many days, but if you say many days ago, you don't say many days ago. What do you normally say? Time ago. You don't say many time ago. You say many. You say long time. I translate kathira as long instead of many because it sounds better in English. So you translate it as what? A very, very long time ago. Do you understand? Uh, is this a sentence? No. no. That means that this links to the next sentence after it, like this. So, uh, uh, so kabla. So let's read it. Kabla. Ayamin Kathiratin Jiddan. Read it again loudly. Qabla Kathiratin Kathiratin Jiddan. So, translation Before many, very, very, very days. How do you translate it? A, A, so A, very, very, not much, but long time. Ago. 
فقبل أيام كثيرة كثيرة جدا a very very long time ago what was the information is a zarf it's all becomes what it shows time in it when 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 this happened this whole thing happened a very very long time ago do you understand and what happened we'll do that next lesson inshallah any questions do you understand subhanallah it usually comes at the end it usually comes at the end okay Subhanallah, bihamdi, subhanakallahumma, bihamdi, kalashallah, illa illa anta, wa nasakhfiru, wa natubu ilaikum.